Hello and welcome back to this channel where we give out high probability trade setups for the incoming week. Last week was super successful and the weeks before that you can go watch all our videos. This week I'm going to be starting off with JPY. Starting with the JPY index, we want to see what the JPY index is doing before we go and look at some JPY pairs. And after that we'll look at some USD pairs and then we talk about gold. Starting off with JPY index, first of all we want to see how we close for the week. We already know how we close for the month. This is the monthly time frame. The previous months we closed super bearish and then the past two or let me say three weeks we've been bullish and now it looks like we are going back to bearish. I mean just by looking at how we close for the week speaks for itself and then let's go to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame you can see that we have more bearish than bullish throughout last week. I mean we have five trading days in the week right? One, two, three, four and five. I mean Monday was the only bullish day in the whole week all right and uh tuesday till friday was super bearish and i'll expect that bearish continuation at least into 770.1 or let's just make it a round figure 770 let's make it a round figure 770 if you look at the trend of the market it's obvious price is creating lows lower highs lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high right so ideally we should be expecting a new lower low but since if i squeeze this chart left there's no historic data as you can see so we are going to be using this recent low here as our next level target so for next week i'll be expecting price to keep collapsing into 770 round number let's look how what we look like on the four hour time frame so on the four hour time frame is pretty much like the daily time frame 770 is the target for next week on JPY index and if JPY index is bearish then of course we should expect a weak JPY across the JPY pairs right so let's kick things off with USD JPY uh USD JPY first of all as usual let's see how we close for the week so last two weeks or so I actually predicted the collapse of USD JPY and as you can see between the zone price created a higher low went up created a higher high right and it has come back to retest this broken zone right so what did you expect we expect a bullish continuation for there and as you can see no surprise we closed last week with a super bullish candlestick right so i'll be expecting continuous bullish uh price action on this pair for next week now coming down to the daily time frame were super bullish i actually predicted this in our last week's video if you can go and watch our price was trading around here and i said this week i'll be expecting bullish continuation actually i was expecting that bullish continuation into the zone before we go bearish but we broke above that zone and continued upward closing the week strongly so due to that i'll be expecting continuous bullish price action but where do we get into this trade if we are not already in this trade i'll be looking at two zones okay next week if price i'll be expecting price to either come into 141.275 before we continue bullish into 142.965 if that doesn't happen if we don't come lower here before we go bullish then i would like to see price take out this area which is 142.120 before pushing all the way up to 142.975 four all right so these are the two buying scenarios i'm bullish for the coming week so you see that we come into here before we go bullish or we break above here give it a retest before we go bullish you can switch to the lower time frames when this happens so that you can catch an earlier entry all right so usd jpy for next week i am bullish so let's go to gbp jpy but before we continue if, if you've made it this far kindly smash the subscribe button share this video to like minds and also leave us a comment down below so that youtube can put this video in front of others that may need it and of course it will in turn help this channel grow all right now looking at J gbp jpy uh similar to usd jpy price started off with a bearish push to the downside represented by this week because this is the weekly time frame represented by this week to the downside by week i'm talking about this tail underneath this candlestick right so price was initially bearish i was actually expecting price to even continue bearish to be honest but what happened price went back bullish so because of this and what we've seen on the jpy index i'll be expecting a strong gbp jpy next week all right and as you can see we close with a super bullish engulfing candle on the daily time frame engulfing one two three four five six seven 
eight days of price action, previous eight days of price action, swallowed by this one candlestick, which actually played out on Friday. So with this, I will be expecting continuous bullish um, push to the upside on GBP USD, at least until we come into 183.794. 183, let me even extend it upward. 183.900. Let's make it a round figure. Permit me to edit this. 183.900. All right. So uh, this is a super bullish engulfing candle for Friday. So I'll be expecting continuous push to the upside. However, price has also given us a double bottom, right? And if you want to understand how to trade bo double bottoms or how double bottoms work, click on this video up here and watch this video. So I'll be expecting continuous push to the upside. Let's go to the four hour time frame so that we see how we take advantage of this trade. Um, if you are not already in this trade on the four hour time frame, you can see that price had found it difficult breaking below the zone. I mean, we've bounced off this zone three times, one, two, three, right? And also this area served as resistance previously as price rejected there, <laughs> rejected there and rejected here. And what can you notice? Price has broken back above that zone. So I'll be expecting continuous push to the upside next week on this pair. I'll be expecting continuous push to 183.900. So for next week, GBP, JPY, I am bullish. Now let's quickly look at G CAD, JPY before we go and see some USD pairs. All right. CAD, JPY, first of all, starting with the weekly time frame. How did we close for the week? We closed super bullish for the week. I remember sending out this um, chart, this analysis on the Telegram group several weeks ago. I think about, I think around 26th of June, which is around last month, right? So I talked about the collapse of USD card and that's exactly what price has done. And now it looks like we found it difficult breaking below the zone. As a matter of fact, price came into the zone and gave us a super bullish engulfing candle to the upside again so for next week i'll be expecting price to push back into this region which is 109.530 109.530 let me also make it a round number 109.530 all right so i'll be expecting price to push back into this zone push back from here into that zone now let's go to the daily time frame let's see more clear price action so on the daily time frame you can see price is in this bullish trend we broke out of this trend line we've been creating higher highs and higher lows ever since so i'll be expecting a continuous bullish push into 109.530 like i mentioned earlier let's go to the four hour time frame if you are not already in this trade and you want to buy into this trade next week i'll be expecting um pullbacks into this zone or a break above so that will continue higher now what zone if if price fails to continue higher initially for the incoming week let's say price decides to pull back into the zone then i'll be expecting to see price come into 106.500 notice that i'm using round numbers trout right 106.500 so so i'll be expecting for price to come into 106.500 area uh before we could go bullish or if we fail to come below here, then I would like to see price take out 107.5, sorry, 0.660. Let me make it a round figure to 660. Am I correct? Yeah. So uh, I would, if price fails to pull back into this zone below, then I'll be expecting price to take out 107.660, give it a retest before will push to 109.530. So in a nutshell, CAD JPY, I am super bullish. So I would advise if you are not already in this trade, between this zone, do nothing. Wait for price to either come here, then look for a reaction before you buy, or wait for price to take out um, 107.660. Give it a retest before you decide to jump into that buy, all right? But overall, I am bullish on CAD JPY. So now that we've seen what is happening on the JPY pairs, let's quickly take a look at USD pairs, all right? Once again, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, do so now. Like this video and leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to also share on your social media platforms, all right? So that we can attract like minds from there. 
And thanks to those that have been sharing and liking and watching these videos. I really, really appreciate you guys. I really, really do. So as usual, before we go to the USD pairs, we have to look at what the US dollar is doing. And by that, I'm talking about the US dollar index. Price was trading around here. Of course, we closed with this candlestick for last week. And I rightly predicted the bullish move. But I actually thought, I was actually expecting price to come into this zone, then give us a rejection and start pushing back to the downside, right? And as you can notice, price just blasted above that zone and we closed with a super bullish candle for last week. So um, I won't even lie to you, USD is looking a bit confusing right now because even if we go to the monthly time frame, you will notice that we are just going sideways. I mean, since, the, since price came into this area, after this initial collapse, which I also predicted, uh, you can go back to this particular month, which was last year, to watch that video. So since price came into this zone, which I rightly predicted, price has been moving sideways for at least one, two, three, four, five, six months. For half a year now, price has been moving sideways on the monthly time frame. If you want to know what price is doing, you actually want to come to the higher time frame to actually get a clearer picture of what price is doing. So if price is actually not in a clean trend, the higher time frame is going to tell you that. And that is why I said, let's come to the monthly time frame. Let's look at things. So you can notice price has been moving sideways for more than half a year now or for around half a year now. Now, but let's go to the weekly time frame. That doesn't mean we still can't trade um, on the lower time frame, catch good opportunities and make money off it. I mean, this month alone, I've made 25% on GBP USD on my swing account alone, 25% percent and if you multiply it by my risk per trade that's times three percent risk per trade so 25 times three that's 75 percent basically right for those of you that have been following my weekly videos you remember me telling you where i'm going to be swinging from and that actually did play out though i didn't close early because i was floating over a little over 30 percent but I didn't close. I thought GBP USD was going to continue jumping to the upside. When I noticed that we're, we're going in for a deep pullback, I just closed at 25%. Anyways, let's continue. We have a double top here on the weekly time frame. And that was why I was expecting price to come and retest this neckline. This neckline here. For those of you that understand the concept of double top. And if you don't, I've also made a video on this. You can click this video up here right now and watch that. But let's continue. So our price came, blasted above the neckline and kept going higher. So for now, I think price is trying to come into 128. Sorry, 12816 region. Price is trying to come into this broken region and then maybe continue downward. I don't know for a fact, but I know for the initial part of next week, price is going to be bullish, all right? Let's go to the daily time frame. Maybe we'll get more perspective to this. You will notice that I already have a FIB level plotted here from top recent um, top to recent bottom. If you want me to make a video on how to use Fibonacci retracement tool, just leave me a comment down below and um, I'll do that, all right? So from recent swing high to recent swing low, I plotted my FIB level and the 0 0.5 FIB level looks to be breached already, right? So it looks to be breached already. So price may be coming for the 0 0.6 FIB level, which is 12816 level. I, I'm using the Dow Jones dollar index, by the way, and the broker is FXCM. So you can search for that on your trading view and so that you can keep track of what I'm talking about. Probably price is trying to come and retest this broken trend line. This broken trend line now is what I mean. So probably price is coming back to retest that broken trend line before we continue lower. So that's a big if. I really don't know if it's going to play out like this. But one thing I know for a fact is for the initial part of next week, price will push at least into 0 0.6 FIB level and this trend line. So if I start seeing that rejection and um, I realize that okay, price is in for the trend continuation, then I'll call your attention to that on the Telegram group and of course, on my YouTube community, I'll just post it and information with the chat. And of course, if you are subscribed, you are definitely going to see that. So if you are not subscribed right now, the link to the Telegram group is also in the description of this video down below. So for the initial part of next week, I'll be expecting a bullish dollar before we'll probably go bearish. I'm not so clear about the dollar. So that's why I really didn't even start with the dollar analysis this week. Uh, that was why I actually started with the JPY index and JPY pairs, at least on that one. I'm super, super sure. So, yeah, 
on the forward time frame, I think we are seeing things more clearly. This is that 0.65 zone from the daily time frame that I just showed you. So price may be coming for this area here, which in turn confluences with this trend line and that 0.65 level I just showed you on the daily time frame. So I think if price come here, we should start seeing a rejection because price has been super bullish. Of course, creating higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, and higher lows in that order, right? So if we continue higher, then this is the zone I'll be expecting a reaction, okay? So we may not push all the way back to the downside like I, I'm, I'm showing you here, but at least we'll come in for a bit of a pullback, maybe back into the zone before we continue bullish, all right? So for the initial part of next week, I am bullish. So now that we've seen what is happening on the dollar index, let's quickly look at some dollar pairs, starting with Euro USD. Euro USD, if you remember, actually predicted this collapse from here to either here or here. Remember I told you from last week, let's even look at how we closed for um, last week. Remember I told you that I'll be expecting pullback into two zones, which is here or here. Sorry guys, let me just delay this. I'm actually back testing a particular strategy and that's why I have that there. So remember last week I told you that I'll be expecting price to either pull back into here before continue bullish or into here before continue bullish. So it looks like price is actually choosing here. All right. So I'll be expecting price to continue lower at least into here before we continue bullish. However, overall, just by looking at this chart, you can tell that we're in a bullish trend. Higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher high, right? So ideally, price is supposed to come and retest this zone before we continue higher. Now, let's go to the daily time frame to see things clearly. Let me delete this. So let's go to the weekly, sorry, the daily time frame. Price was trading around here last week, and I told you that I'll be expecting a pullback into either into this zone or into this zone, but it looks like price is coming into this zone. So for next week, the ideal place I'll be expecting a bullish continuation from is from here right and what's here i'm talking about the 1.10767 price area all right or you can even choose to make it a zone like this instead of just a line so we could make it a zone so from within this zone i'll be expecting a bullish continuation from here all right let's look at the four hour time frame i don't have much to say but with what the dollar index is looking like I'll be expecting initial bearish trend for next week. So two ways to join this trade. Trend, if you are not already in this trend, let me put this mark here before we go to the lower time frames. I'll put one here. I hope it's visible on the lower time frames. Yeah, it is. Uh, let me put another one here. Okay, we already have our resistance there. So let's go to the one hour time frame. Or let's even go all the way down to the 15. On the 15 minutes time frame, we are trying to catch an entry. Remember, what will happen is if you are not already in this trade, I'll be expecting two zones to, for the bearish continuation. It's either we come into this area, which is 1.11576, before we continue bearish into um, 1.10767. All right. So I would like to see price pull back into here before we sell into this zone. And if that fails to happen, I'll have another zone here like this, like this. Okay. So I'll wait for price to actually break below this 15 minutes zone here. Give it a retest before I sell into this resistance zone below. So you can pause this video, look at these numbers here, plot this on your chart so that you can follow what I am doing here all right so if i if next week price starts pulling back up here then i'll look for bearish momentum to sell from here into here and if that doesn't happen if price take out this support level here i'll wait for a retest so that i can now sell down into this um zone here so this zone is where i'll be expecting bullish continuation from so don't get it twisted i'm just initially bearish before i go bullish because overall on the higher time frame we are in a bullish trend i hope you get that so that is that on euro usd let's look at gold which is going to be the last pair we are going to be looking at gold is pretty much confusing right now because as we all know if dollar is bullish gold is supposed to be bearish right why the simple reason is because once people are invested in the us dollar of course they have to take their money from a different investment which in most cases is either gold crypto or any other stock 
they choose, right? Then they'll take out their money and put it in the US dollar. So as the more the US dollar appreciates, the more money they make. And when the US dollar starts nose diving, when it starts falling, they take their money, they move their money away from that liquid cash and go back and reinvest it in other assets like crypto, gold, and other stocks like that, right? And then you see the dollar collapsing. That is why they move against each other. That is why if the US dollar is bullish, gold is supposed to be bearish. And if gold is bullish, US dollar is supposed to be bearish. I hope I'm correct. Yeah, I am. So, and if you look at the weekly candlestick, yes, towards the end of last week, price collapsed, right? But we still saw bullish price action because just by the color of the candlestick, you could tell we still saw bullish price action on gold. For last week, we had more bullish price action than bearish, right? And on US dollar, we were super bullish also. So you see this kind of, there the are kinds of confusion in the market. And that's why I'm not too particular about USD pairs for this coming week. I'm more focused on JPY pairs because on that, I have guaranteed movements on those ones. So for gold, with the way we closed last week and the way we even ended, so the way we ended like Thursday, Friday last week, I'm really not confident about what gold wants to do. But on the flip side, we are in a bullish trend on gold, right? We're in a bullish trend. As you can see, we are creating higher highs, breaking above this higher low, higher high, higher low. And it looks like price is pointing back to the upside to continue the bullish trend, right? So, but for me to be able to tell exactly what is going to happen on gold, then I have to see how we close for the month or this coming week, all right? So, I want to see how we close for this week. And of course, the months. If we close bullish for the months, then I think gold will continue this typical upward market structure. All right. But if we keep collapsing to the downside, which I really don't see happening for now, because initially I was expecting gold to collapse into 1,800. If you've been watching my videos all the way from here, I've been predicting the fall of gold, the collapse of gold. Actually, I was expecting 1,800 on gold, but for the fact that price is bouncing off this strong zone here, price looks like, no, 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 it wants to continue this typical bullish market structure. All right. So I really still don't have much to say on gold. However, price was super bull bearish on Thursday, sorry, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? And uh, we are still typically in the day from this daily time frame perspective, we are still in a downtrend, guys. We are still in a downtrend. If you are on the course or if you are on our mentorship program, you know what I'm talking about. And I think I've done, I've made videos on market structure. So you can click this video right here on the top of your screen to watch how I determine shift in market structure and how I look at market structure in itself. As you can see, price is creating higher lows, higher highs around this area here, right? Before coming and breaking below it. Now we are now in a downtrend, right? Went back for a pullback, created another lower low right because this low is lower than this then price pushed all the way back up and as you can see we are yet to create a new high if we had broken above here and closed above here came back for a retest then i'll be expecting bullish price action on gold for this week but because we failed to break above here and we are still trading below here and it looks like we are pointing down guys we could continue to the downside we could continue to the downside. So right now, it's pretty much tricky. We are still in a downtrend from the daily time frame perspective, right? But if next week, price comes and break above here with a daily candlestick and close above here. Remember, we're on the daily time frame, right? And closes above here. Then what I'll be expecting is overall trend of the market has changed back into a bullish run, all right? So at this point, I'll be sure and certain that I should be going bullish on gold at least until we come into the 2050 region. All right. But for the fact that we are still below here, guys, we are still in a bearish trend. All right. Now, on the four hour time frame, on the four hour time frame, I still have something for you guys. So, guys, if next week price breaks above here, I'm talking about the 1963.69 region let's say price breaks above it give us a retest and show me a bullish commitment guys i will buy until we come into this zone but if we continue bearish like this because obviously even on the four-hour time frame we are in a bearish trend lower low lower high lower low right so i would like to see price break continue lower properly then go back to this region for a retest give me a massive rejection so that i can sell all the way to the downside so guys 
I'm still kind of confused on gold. I won't even lie to you for next week. So, but this is these are the two ways I'm looking at gold right now. We'll come below, go back for a retest, then I'll sell. We'll break above, come back for a retest, then I will buy. All right. That's how I'm going to be looking at it for now. Any more updates that pops up within next week, I'm going to call your attention to that. All right. So once again, guys, thanks for staying to the end of this video. And um, if you want to join our mentorship program, we still have space left for you. Change your trading career from negative to positive with our mentorship program so the link to grabbing the mentorship program is in the description of this video down below and you can also visit letstrade10x.com all the information you need is right there if you've made it to the end of this video i really really appreciate you guys thanks for staying to the end of this video smash that like button comment down below if you have any information for us and also subscribe if you haven't and uh with that i wish you a successful trading week and I'll see you in our next video.